Hi guys, Graham from Penguin here. Well, here we are. Another ZTEC on the dyno, another black top. This one uh, was built by Ike Engineering. It's, it's been re modified internally. It's got headwork, it's got cams. I believe they were 292 on the intake and 284 on exhaust, which suggests they're probably ground by Newman, but I don't know that. Um, should make a good set of rally cams, really. Um, I'm told it's got 12 to 1 pistons. We've got the same exhaust manifold. And I'm going to start out by running it on the same 32 36 as I did the stock one. Um, I imagine the 32 36 is going to be uh, something of a large restriction to power this time, but it wasn't necessarily the case last time, so who knows? But yeah, I'm going to run it on the carb. Then I'm going to switch to the IDFs. And lastly, we're going to fit it up on injection and see. What will it make? 200? 220? 240? 250? Probably not. We don't know till we try. So that was the first pull on the 32-36. And I freeze framed and zoomed in at the end because some of you just ain't gonna be the number. On that first pull, and we're still on the same, we're still on exactly the same carburetor jetting as we had before, and we've got the same ignition map in it as we had before. So that very first pull, we did 180 brake horsepower, which is stonking. So all those that said the 3236 is strangling that motor, well, maybe not, but we're not done yet because following that we made a few jetting changes and I started playing with the ignition map to try and optimize the ignition and yeah that got us this So guys, here we are. I'm sorry about my monitor. It's getting a bit more liney ever since I batted it. So, you know, as before, if anyone's got a 42 inch plus flat screen telly they want to donate, feel free. Anyway, so there we go. Here's the result of our dyno run. 200 horsepower. It, it's a bit shaky and wobbly at the top because at this point we still hadn't quite nailed the air fuel ratio. Um, Asking a 32-36 to deliver enough fuel for 200 horsepower on a small high revving four-cylinder engine is, is, a, is a challenge without making it pig rich low down. In fact, it's getting difficult to get enough fuel for it anyway through the one needle valve, etc. But just for comparison, I put the same carb up on my standard engine. And, okay, we're only measuring from 3,500 RPM onwards, but didn't it go? And clearly... It got to about 5,500 and took off. I spoke to Ike at the time and he went, that's a bit low. And I thought to myself, really? He went, he told me, yeah, he was expecting more. Now, as it turns out, the exhaust manifold I'm using, which is one he gave me to use, isn't the one he thought I had at the time. So if we'd have had the one if we'd had another one, if we'd had this four into two into one as opposed to four into one, he reckons I'd have found even more power still. But at this point, he says to me, play with the cam timing. So we did. Off came the cam cover and we tweaked the cams and I, I went through a lot of iterations. Essentially, it wanted the inlet advanced a bit and it was quite happy to exhaust where it was, but we tried all different combinations, mainly because I was looking for a higher power number than we were ever going to achieve on that exhaust. But this is, I now put on the graph where we actually ended up. So there you go. Um, essentially, we advanced the inlet cam bit from wherever it was. Um, and in my world, normally advancing cams increases bottom end, but this, it, it liked it pretty much everywhere. We got a small increase through most of the rev range and it, and it flattened it out a bit at the top. So, there we have. 32, 36 carb. Well, not this actual one, but same as. 
32, 36 carb, 205 horsepower. Now, one or two of you in the comments did say that a 32, 36 will do 200 horsepower on a ZTEC. And I read the comments and thought, sounds a lot, but I didn't poo poo it. And here's the evidence. A 32, 36 carb will do over 200 horsepower on a ZTEC. So what next? Well, up next are the IDFs. Right, so what have we got here? Well, in blue is our 32-36, and in red is our IDFs. The, the orange lines are actually the IDFs on the standard engine. So what else can we say? Well, watching the video, you see the IDFs are doing what they tend to do and puking fuel out everywhere. We know we can probably calm that down with some longer ramp pipes, but a bit like I said in the last video, I had what was fitted or the really long ones. Well, we know the really long ones are too long and hurt power in this application, and I just didn't have anything in between. I might have been out eco fraction more at the top, working with the air fuel ratio, but we did a couple more runs and we ran into a misfire issue. And I'm pretty convinced that what happened is the intake manifold gasket had failed. So I, this was the best run I got out of the IDFs. I think there might have been a couple more horsepower in there, but no way we're going to match what's coming next, and that's the throttle bodies. Right, guys, here we are. In green, our last run, there were our throttle bodies. Now, I made a mistake in the last video. I said they were 48 throttle bodies. They're not, they're 50s. I'd pick them up, look down on them and thought, oh, they ain't 45s. And wrongly, and you know what they say about assumptions, wrongly assumed they were 48s. But anyway, they're 50s and that's what they did. They did 246 horsepower. Um, we've got a slight wiggle there. And I'll tell you what that is, that's, we're getting to the upper limit of the dyno being able to control the engine without adjusting the absorber and bringing the RPM in starting later, start the run later. So that's that's what that dip is in that the, the absorber valve is, is almost fully open and as such, when it's absolutely fully open, it, it's not as easy to control the engine. Plus, we're getting to the point, I think we're starting to clip rev limiters up there. Um, the, 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 the clip in the video, I think, actually hits it. But anyway, what can I say? Um, in blue are the throttle bodies on my otherwise standard engine. So I've gone from not really taking any notice of this engine to thinking it's a blooming good thing to have. And I still say... When you look at 205 brake horsepower from a 3236, a ZTEC and a 3236 is a banging combination. And on that bombshell, you know what to do, like, share, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll catch you on the flip side.